Good Tuesday evening. I'm meteorologist Matt Honig. We have a chilly air mass in place here for the next couple of days. Overnight temperatures, they're going to fall back to the teens and 20s, and each of the next couple of days are going to fail to get above freezing in some parts of New Hampshire, though the weather pattern is at least pretty quiet. We do have some clouds moving through tonight. There is this one weather system back through western parts of New York, Pennsylvania, into the Ohio Valley, but a lot of this winds up just kind of missing us. We could see a quick flurry or snow shower from it and a few select towns tomorrow but otherwise it's just going to be pretty quiet and dry for our Wednesday. There are some of these ocean effect rain and snow showers sitting off the southern New England coastline this evening. A couple of these flurries may try and sneak into coastal parts of Rockingham County in the next few hours, but otherwise it's mostly dry tonight. These are really just more kind of festive decorative flakes than anything through the lower Merrimack Valley and toward the coastline could be a quick dusting in a few towns, mainly on grassy surfaces, but no impacts really expected from that tonight. It's mostly clear up north and that'll be the case into tomorrow as well. I think we'll see more sunshine through far northern parts of New Hampshire building in throughout the course of the morning, whereas we're pretty much socked in with the clouds elsewhere. But even farther south, a few breaks of sun are not out of the question by late tomorrow afternoon and into very early tomorrow evening. This dip in the jet stream keeping temperatures cooler than average for the next couple of days. Normal high temperature here in New Hampshire for early December sits right near 40 degrees. We won't be really anywhere close to that number both tomorrow and then again on Thursday. But by late week and the start of the weekend, it does turn quite a bit more mild as temperatures surge back into the 40s in many towns. Teens and 20s tonight, mostly cloudy skies, though a few breaks in the overcast very late tonight far north. That could mean temperatures from, say, Berlin over to Lancaster and points north could drop back into the single numbers by very early tomorrow morning. The rest of us wake up to readings in the 20s and we struggle to get back above freezing tomorrow. It's a very similar story with a lot of clouds breaking for a few peaks of afternoon sunshine. Again, a spot flurry in a few towns, but that's really more the exception than the rule. Cooler than average tomorrow and then again on Thursday. By Friday, we're pretty close to average as temperatures are back in the upper 30s to right near 40 degrees. And certainly by the weekend, it will start to turn quite a bit warmer. Now, the start of the weekend looks dry, though we will have clouds mixing in with some breaks of sunshine. Saturday's temperatures are running in the mid to upper 40s, but by Sunday, this next system starts to approach our area, and while Sunday morning may be dry, that can't be said for Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and into the early part of Monday. As this system approaches, it could bring with it a period of not just some steady rainfall, but the winds are going to start to crank out ahead of this system. That's another issue we'll have to watch for the tail end of the upcoming weekend. Right now, it does look warm enough ahead of this system that most of us see rain. There could be a little bit of mix in far northern New Hampshire and behind the system. It does turn pretty chilly yet again with perhaps a few mountain snow showers in time for the very beginning of next week. Here's your seven day forecast. It is cold the next couple of days, a spot flurry or snow shower in a few towns tomorrow. Otherwise, Thursday and Friday should feature some partial sunshine warming up by the weekend with that next weather system bringing some steady rain and gusty winds later Sunday into Sunday night.